finally see last month's storm damage cleaned up. Today was the first day contractors showed up to clear the damage from county roads. WFO 48's Matthew King joins us live in Jackson County. Matthew, I saw a crew working behind you earlier this afternoon. How's it going out there? Well, Lizzie, though they just left for uh, the day, the crew was out here on County Road 125 all day working to clear a lot of this debris. Though they told me there's a lot more to go, they believe the end result will be worth it all. The cleanup efforts on County Road 125 are the same on all Jackson County roads, cleaning up damage from last month. It's, it's our duty to give the citizens a path of recovery, and that's absolutely what we're doing and trying to move as fast as we can to give them the opportunity to get the debris out and then get back to uh, a normal life again. Lou Nager with Crowder Gulf is overseeing the project. He says crews will spend the next few weeks cleaning the damage left on the side of the roads. We also are removing hazardous stumps, hazardous trees off the right of way as well and uh, bring them to the site here and we will burn here at the site. They'll also take pieces from buildings like metal transport those to the dump. Nature says they've already made significant progress on the project. I think uh, we're hitting it pretty hard today as you can see and uh, overall uh, after this week uh, there will be a big difference. We'll probably be able to tell uh, what we need to do after that but uh, overall speaking I generally would say probably two two and a half weeks. He believes it's important to have this done sooner than later so people can finally move past the impact of these storms. It's a it's a timely manner to get people back on a, a road to recovery is our MO so uh, if anyone here locally if you can get debris out to the right of way uh, we're here uh, we want to be here till it's done. Well, he mentioned to me that anybody who still has leftover debris living on a Jackson County road, they can bring it to them and they'll take care of it from there. Reporting live in Jackson County, Matthew King, 48 on your side.